Yeah, you know time is at essence. Yeah, I try, little baby. Put your feelings to the side, little baby. You got too much pride, little baby. I ain't had time yesterday, but today I got time, little baby. Cause you been up on my mind, little baby. I really think you mind, little baby. Hope you shine, little baby. But this shit takes time, little baby. This shit takes time, little baby. Yeah, you know time is at essence. Girl, you gotta be patient. Time is at the essence, girl. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. Time is at the essence. You know time is at the essence. Yeah, you gotta be patient. Time is at the essence, girl. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. Don't got time for a hoe. I'm on the grind, little hoe. Sipping wine, little hoe. Yeah, I'm doing all these shows. Doing dough with some hoes. Got some good at the pole. Yeah, murder what she wrote. I took a soul, I always take a soul, yeah, love scars well, baby, love scars well, baby, hurt to the bone, yeah, hurt to the bone, I got you, boy, yo, what is up, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Carlos Harris, um, today is Sunday, and today I just want to talk about why Sundays are important, what I do on Sundays to prepare myself for the week, to get up and get going, to make sure that the week starts off on a strong foot. One, like Sundays are always just a reset day, like clean your space, make sure everything's like organized so your mind's not chaotic going inside the week. Then also just writing down your to-do list. The to-do list is always something that's helped me stay on track with getting everything done that I need to. So I do that the night prior rather than trying to like write it out in the morning. Um, so yeah, today's a Sunday. We got a little bit on the agenda. We got to wash some clothes, straighten up order some groceries, pay rent, and then also shoot a campaign for Dune slash Govi uh, collaboration. If you guys aren't familiar with the movie Dune, I heard it's fire. I have not seen <laughs> the original one. I heard the second one is even better than the original one. I might watch it low key whenever I'm done shooting the campaign to be able to see that. Another thing I wanna say is thank you guys um, for tuning into the vlogs. This uh, past month in February, I made the most on my um, YouTube AdSense. I think it was like $2,111 whatever it is I put it on the screen. Um, that was just consistently uploading and uh, just putting out vlogs for you guys on a consistent basis. And I think we're at 154,000 subscribers. I wanna get to 200K. Maybe we can do that uh, by the end of this month. I know that's a huge jump, but who knows? All it takes is just consistency and continuously pushing out value to you guys. So if you guys like these videos, continue to give them a thumbs up, drop a comment, feedback down below. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the Sunday. <laughs> I'm doing a little lunch break. I got this little like bagel thing from Yeasty Boys. It's by my office and the thing that I get is called the Rubenstein. Bro, this should be busting. I'm about to show you it. Uh, look at that. Whew, I know I got the shadows on it. So good, bro. Just quality. I'm telling y'all, if y'all in LA, order this on Uber Eats or just go to the little food truck. And this is, uh, this is the second time Third time y'all see me eating, so I don't wanna see no more comments about me eating food, none of that. But damn, I need some water. I'm about to watch a couple YouTube videos. It's always good to just like watch YouTube videos to get inspiration and see um, what other people are doing on vlogs and stuff like that. Right now I'm about to just like watch a couple different ones, get some inspiration to start editing this vlog and then get into the rest of the day. All right, now it's time to get to work. This is the little Govi backlight right here. This little thing goes on my TV. It's got a little full thing to basically 
have backlight behind the TV. So that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna shoot this campaign on my iPhone. And as you can see, I got multiple tripods. This little small one, this is what I usually use to like vlog and stuff, but I also have another Yulanzi tripod. And these quick releases, I'm telling you, they're a game changer. If I need to switch, it's easy. Yeah, it's 2.30, I think, and I need to get on this because it's not gonna take like five minutes to put all this stuff on a TV. You literally have to put it all the way around the TV, set it up, calibrate it, and all this other crazy stuff. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys like an example video of what they sent over. Plus, Dio did something too, so I'm gonna show y'all one second. All right, so here's an example video. Like, this is super quick, easy. Actually, let me turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. Boom. You're just unboxing it, boom, doing all that stuff, you skip forward. Then you like set it up on the TV, do all that, and you can see like the backlight and stuff. So it's like a campaign to basically show like before and after you setting it up, and then it shows like the difference of what it looks like in your living room at nighttime. So I can't just start shooting it at nighttime because I want to see the difference between the two. And the last shot to where it like transitions. You want to do that, you know, closest to when it's going to be getting dark because I'm obviously going to have to leave the phone in the same place for it to be a seamless transition. So I'm going to get to that and I'll show you guys some BTS of me doing some Instagram content and getting paid for it. I got money. Ain't it changed. I got girls. Ain't strange. Not to mention, I don't do the tension. When I'm in your ends, I'll be you the entrance. And I don't need no guest list when I pull up to the palace. Smoking every room, yeah, we smoking on the chalice. Uh, red cup and we okay. Red cup and we located in the back room where they do things. Everybody know we okay, got a crew living. All right, this is like super low light, but I had to like close the blinds to get like the effect. The shit looks tight. I had to move uh, my Govi light from in my room over there in the corner, but this shit hard. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna wait till the sun goes all the way down to do these like last little shots that I got to do on my phone And I don't have my other phone because I need to record like the actual little like settings and stuff on the app But until then I'm just gonna kind of kick it play around with this thing, but I'll show y'all a closer little look. Hold on like Look at this. This is fire and it's got like different settings on it too where you could uh, change the colors to where it matches everything like on the screen as far as color wise, cause you have to calibrate it with this little like camera here on the top across the entire screen. But this is fire, bro, fire. Definitely, definitely cool as hell. If you're trying to like upgrade your living room, as you can see from like sitting down right here, this is sick. I'm gonna wait till the sun goes down and then I'm going to finish up the rest of the scenes and stuff that I gotta finish um, so I can wrap that up and then just do dinner, and depending on the length of this vlog right now, I'll probably carry it over into Monday um, just to make it a longer vlog or whatever it is so we can get into all the to-do lists and stuff that we have to do. Oh, let's do that. I'll let you guys know what my to-do list is for Monday, and then we'll jump into that Monday routine and continue from there. Crew living, row, row. Gotta be kidding. Yeah. All of these hundreds and millions, not one of these women's is smitten. Nah. All of the blunt the feeling, they know that they're gonna get it in a minute. a minute. But if they can't really cool out, cool out. All right, it's Monday morning. I think it's like 7 a.m. or 6.45, whatever time it is. But Monday morning, I think people dread Mondays and you should honestly start to embrace them because they're the stepping stone to, to a successful week. You start the week off strong, just like you start your mornings off strong and you continue to use that momentum to carry you through the week. I wanna talk about too, like, I know a lot of people like aren't in the ideal positions that they think that they should be in or they feel like they should be further in life. You gotta understand like everything is a process. Everything takes time. You're gonna have up times, you're gonna have down times, you're gonna have failures, you're gonna have triumphs. You're gonna have all those different things. Uh, I remember when I first started blogging, I mean, self doubt and stuff starts to creep in after a while when you're not seeing the results that you feel like you should be seeing, even though that you're putting in the work. You can be putting in the work, you know, 10 times over, but it's all about capitalizing on the right opportunities and seizing the moment. It's like people say like, you're doing all this practice and stuff, so when it's game time, you're ready to go in and it's second nature. You put it in the work already. You're doing that for yourself. And if you're not, 
hold yourself accountable, start doing the work. So when the opportunity comes, you're ready. So whatever it is you wanna do, practice and practice and practice and keep going until that opportunity presents itself and capitalize on it. Cause everything is not always just about like, hard work is not gonna just always make you just the, the most successful person. It's also a little bit of luck and situational type of things that you capitalize on, but you practice for that the entire time. So when I got my break in, you know, Instagram content, my page blew up, bro, I've been struggling to get past 100K for three, four years. It took a little switch up, it took a little, took a little bit of risk, and it took a lot of work of me consistently going, 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 even when I felt like I was doing more than I needed to, I still kept going. So. I'm going to journal. I'm gonna get in this ice bath for five minutes, jump into some yoga, take my ass to the gym, um, and get this day started. It's been a long time, long time. We shouldn't have left you, left you. Without a dope beat, step two, step two. So I just got back from the gym and you guys know I have a cold tub and everybody asked me how I fill it up and how I drain it. Now usually I drain it with a five gallon bucket, but I got this new little thing right here. So let me show you. This right here, all you gotta do is drop it in there and then it will drain all the way to the sink, which we're gonna see if this works. So I'm gonna drop it in there and then I'm gonna come over here and make sure I keep this hose inside of the um, sink so it doesn't spray everywhere. But this thing is supposed to be top notch. It's called like a pool cover, like pump. Somebody suggested it to me on Instagram. So we're gonna see if this works and hopefully I can just do it reversed and run water in there and then just drain it into there. So I don't have to go back and forth as far as like filling it up. All right, so I'm about to pick this up, drop this in. After that, we gotta plug it up. All right, we about to plug it up and see if it drains the water into the sink. Oh shit, it's 100% working. That shit is going fast as hell. It's actually crazy. So it works. Just have to make sure that that stays in there. So I'm gonna go unplug this so I don't drain all my water out, but it literally works. So another unboxing before we head out. Well, it's not really unboxing because it's not my shoe, but my boys over at Private Selection sent me an early pair of Travis Scott's. We're gonna be doing a giveaway on these, so stay tuned um, here on YouTube and then obviously probably on Instagram for us to be announcing that. But these are the newest ones. They got like a little um, gum bottom on it. This is. I don't, I wanna, this, this is not white. It's like a like grayish color on the toe box. Then you got the yellow suede right here. The blue swoosh, obviously the signature. Backward swoosh on that. Cactus Jack logo right there. Um, as you guys know, if you guys don't know, I started off in like streetwear fashion. So the majority of my content was streetwear. I usually wear all black nowadays cause I just be trying to keep it simple. But on feet today, we got the off whites, off white fours. So I, st I still be stepping whenever I, you know, I feel like it. So uh, don't be on me too hard about just wearing all black. Sometimes I just be lazy. I just be trying to make money nowadays. Um, I'm really into like watches as you guys know too. If you guys have seen my watch question, I have like six different watches and I want to continue to grow that. Uh, I've had like 70 pairs of sneakers, which I probably shouldn't have that many, but it's like one of those things where you're just like, damn, do I let them go? Or if like a day like today, I'm just like, shit, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on. Those are the days where you're like, bet, I should have kept those. But we're about to head over to the office. I'll show you a little full fit breakdown, probably when I get over there or during the B-roll shots of me headed to the office. But yeah, let's head out.
All right, made it to the studio, so it's fit check. Up top, we got the hoodie from Pleasures. It's got a little graphic on the back, but you can't see that. Underneath, you got a John Elliott cutoff, kind of in the same color. And then pants, these are from um, Amy, like little cargo pants right there, nylon material. And then shoes, we got the Off-White Jordan 4s. Bam, you can see that I've beat the hell out of these. I've had these for a number of years, just haven't worn them in a while. But yeah, full fit, some light. We're back in the office. I need to go water my plant over there because it looked like it's down bad. But yeah, full fit of the day. Definitely threw on a little bit of color for y'all, so don't be coming for me. All right, next order of business. We got 26 orders to pack. If this is your first time seeing my channel, I have a men's lifestyle brand called The Creature of Habits where we sell men's hygiene, um, travel packing bags, all that stuff. There's a link down below if you guys want to check that out. But we got 26. Um, packages to pack up, get them out. I'm gonna drop these off at UPS tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna pack them up in my car uh, whenever I leave my office. If you guys haven't seen my office, got a little chill area over here, more stuff back there, inventory, all that great stuff. Um, I have an office tour linked on here. I'll probably make it pop it up on the screen. The way you guys can check that out. But e-commerce advice, it's a great business. It didn't really like take too much money to start this business up. That's not to say that every e-commerce business is like that, but it's another source of income. And I'm always gonna preach to you guys, find different sources of income for yourself. Like I literally just got a, um, an email from Adobe. We're gonna be locking in the deal. I talked about it in my earlier vlogs. It's a little bit lower than what I expected. It's still over $10,000 for the deal, but I'm still gonna negotiate and probably try to figure out if it works um, for both of us, but different streams of revenue because I have like the creature of habits, I have my content creation, I have my marketing company, affiliate links, whatever it is. And then now like YouTube um, obviously pays me and stuff from AdSense. So I can't stress enough, if you're just trying to make some extra money for yourself, starting a side hustle, especially in the economy that we live in right now, it's kind of crucial because making $100,000 nowadays is nothing. Especially if you're living in like states like this where taxes and stuff is crazy. It's just like, put yourself in a better position. So whatever it is that you wanna do outside of like your nine to five and you got like a little side hustle, just hone in on that, focus on that because different streams of revenue um, will allow you to go do the things you wanna do in life. I call a lot of like, when I was working a nine to five, I called my nine to five a necessary evil because it was what I needed at the time to get me where I needed to, to get. I just needed to pay my bills at the time. It's necessary evil, cool, I don't really like it. I left and ended up going to do what I wanted to do. And if you guys wanna go work for yourselves, again, understand there's ups and downs with anything in life. It's not gonna be easy. You're gonna be broke as shit for an extended period of time, or maybe you just might pop off and things that might be great for you, but it's always just like an up and down journey. But keeping your mentality and like keeping your mental strong and understanding and remembering your why, which is up here on this poster right here, remembering your why is super important, especially when those like low moments come. So I know I'm getting off like topic and stuff, but yeah. Always remember that shit and always believe in yourself. I can't preach that enough because if I stopped believing in myself like seven, eight years ago now, just working full time, I don't know where I would be in life, to be honest. And I'd probably be miserable, but I love and enjoy what I do. Is it easy? No, it's hard work. Nothing is easy in life. But if you love it and that's what you want to do in life, chase every single day towards that because you don't want to leave. You want don't want to leave this earth with like what ifs and regrets. So uh, hold on to that and let's jump into these orders. I got money, ain't change. I got girls, ain't strange. Not to mention, I don't get attention. When I'm in your ends, I beat you the entrance. And I don't need no guest list when I pull up to the palace. Smoking every room, yeah we smoking on the chalice. Red uh, cup and we okay. Red cup and we located in the back room where they do things. Everybody know we okay, got a crew living. 
Gotta be kidding. All of these hundreds of millions. Not one of these women's a smitten. All of the money, the feeling, they know that they gonna get it in a minute. But if they can't really cool out, cool out, it's only chilling. Yeah, I feel young. Yeah.